Welcome to Kojo's Math. Today we're going to talk about multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. I'm really going to encourage you to use cross-canceling to get your final answer instead of just multiplying numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, which is what you do when you multiply fractions. So it's just a quick review. If we have one-third times one, five-sixths, there's nothing we can cross-cancel here. When we cross-cancel, we're comparing like a cross. Think about, does the one and the six, the opposite numerator to the opposite denominator, and vice versa, the, opposite, the denominator to the opposite numerator. They have no factors in common. That's where the greatest common factor comes into play. When we don't have it, we simply go numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Five eighteenths, because five times one is five and three times six is eighteen. I put this on here to remind you I put the problem twice, 2 fifths times 5 eighths. Again, I encourage you to use cross-canceling. So we compare a numerator to the opposite denominator. Because when we multiply 2 times 5, we get 10. I'll show you. And 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, to simplify that fraction, what do they have in common? Well, they have the factors 5 and 2. They have 10. 10 in common. Well, look, there's 10 here. There's a 5 here, and there's a 2 times 4 from that 8, so 5 and times 2 is 10, and that's how we got 5 times 2 times 4 is 40. Remember I showed you the prime factorization on the last video? So we have to simplify this from 10 40ths to 1 4. Some of you may really get confused with cross-canceling. You can always do this method. You do not have to do cross-canceling, but you have to understand that you're going to run into more difficulty as you get into larger numbers to simplify this fraction. But it's, a, it's just learning a different skill. So if I look at 2 fifths, 5 eighths, and I go, I'm going to cross cancel, the 2 goes into 2 one time, because you just divide. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 8 divided by 2, because they have to have a common factor, is 4. Now I look at the other denominator, the opposite numerator. The 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So when I multiply, I get 1 4. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 4 is 4. So it saves me a lot of time. In this case, you probably will say, no, it doesn't, because 10 40ths, I know what 10 40ths is. I can simplify that quick. That's fine. But cross-canceling is a skill that you're going to need as you get into the higher levels of math, especially pre-algebra and algebra. All right, so let's move on. Let's talk about mixed numbers, because this is just proper fractions. So when we're multiplying with mixed numbers, fractions and mixed numbers, or whole numbers in a fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to put the mixed number or the whole number in fraction form. So if it's a whole number, we're going to write that number over 1. And if it's a mixed number, like 6 and a half, we have to put that into an improper fraction. That's what we did in Chapter 4. So when we do this, 45 over 1 times 4 fifths, and we'll move this down so it's less confusing. Now I'm going to cross cancel, and 5 is a common factor of 5 and 45. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 45 divided by 5 is 9. So I get 9 times 4 is 36 over 1. And you don't leave it as 36 over 1 because you're all bright. You're all smart. You all know that 36 over 1 is 36. So you can go ahead and put 36. Now here we have 1 6 times 28. I'm going to put 28 over 1. And when you write your problems, you can go ahead and make the whole number as 28 over 1. Or instead of writing 8 times 6 and 1 half, you can write 8 over 1 times 13 halves because we're changing 6 and 1 half to an improper fraction. And you're supposed to know how to do that. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13 halves. But let's go back to this one. What does 6 and 28 have in common? They have a 2 in common. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 28 divided by 2 is 14. Now, when I get... 14 thirds, you have to change that back into a mixed number. You can't leave it as an improper fraction when you're multiplying mixed numbers. So this goes into this 4 and 2 thirds. So when we go down here, and we're, I'm just showing you what we're doing, we're just practicing. 
We cross cancel the two and the eight have a two in common. That's the greatest common factor. So two divided by two is one, and eight divided by two is four, and four times 13 is 52. 52 over one is, that's right, 52. We don't write 52 over one. Now this one, we're going to write 4 4 fifths. We change it to a what? That's right, an improper fraction first. So we get 24 fifths times, 1 times 9 is 9, plus 1 is 10 ninths. Look, the 5 and the 10, the greatest common factor is 5. So we're going to divide both. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. What goes into 24 and 9? That's right, 3. 3 is the greatest common factor. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. We get 8 times 2 is 16 thirds, which is 5 and 1 third. We'll do one more, and then we'll put some rules on the board, and then you'll try some problems. So we're going to change these two improper fractions. If you're taking the problems from the book, you can change them before you write them on your paper. So you don't have to write this problem. You can go directly and write the, the improper fraction. So this is 11 fourths. 2 and 3 fourths is 11 fourths, because 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. And 3 and 1 6 becomes 19 6. Ah, this is interesting. There is nothing in common, is there? Hmm? No, let's make sure. 19, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, I picked one, so there's nothing in common, so I have to go 11 times 19. This is a time sign. 11 times 19. So, let's do that. Well, I want you to do that and bring that to class tomorrow, because I got caught, didn't I? I wasn't expecting that, and I don't want the the video to go on and on while I multiply. We do know that 4 times 6 is 24, but bring it to class, and change it into a mixed number, and we'll check it in class. Now before we go on, and you try these problems, pause the video and write these three things down. When you're, when you're multiplying mixed numbers, or a, mi or a fraction with a whole number, or a whole number with a mixed number, you change the mixed numbers into improper fractions, or you change the whole number into an improper fraction over 1. Like if I'm saying 8 times 1 half, I change 8 to 8 over 1. Okay. The second thing is you cross-cancel cross -cancel to simplify your work. Makes it faster, gets you to the answer easier, and it kind of is an easier method, way to think. And the third is to multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. And then the fourth is to change back to a mixed number, your final answer. Don't leave it as seven-fifths. Rewrite it as one and two-fifths. It's hard. When do I put it into a mixed number? When do I leave it as an improper fraction? If you're multiplying mixed numbers, you put it into a mixed number. You always make sure, always, that it's in simplest form. The fractions have always got to be in lowest terms or simplest form. Now, I want you to try these. Let me get them, because I left them over here. So pause the video. Pause the book. It's going to fall. Pause the video. <laughs> and when you're done doing these problems, come on back. Welcome back. So let's see how you did. What I want you to do is hopefully, you, when you wrote these down, you have you canceled the five, they had a two in common, and for the first one, seven tenths times 24, you got 16 and four fifths. For 12 times one sixth, hopefully you got two. Check that. Three and one fifth times one and one fourth, check your work, you should have four. Check your cross canceling. For four two fifths times two elevenths, Four fifths, because when we change this to 22 fifths, the 11 goes into 22. And then the last one, 10 and a half times 5 and a third, you should have gotten 56. So there it is. You can pause the video and check your answers if you made any mistakes. Write down two, make sure, because this is your ticket in, write down two things you learned and one question you still have. I want it on a separate piece of paper. It can be on a separate piece of paper. It can be on an index card or sticky. I want it on a separate piece of paper. That's why I'll know if you watch the video, right? All right. I'll see you tomorrow in class. Have a great night. And, or it's a great weekend, right? Yeah, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.